Hello, good afternoon to you. It is after work uh, on a, uh, uh, what day is it? Wednesday afternoon, yes, a Wednesday afternoon. And it is time for us to do the Advent calendar. Yes. Good. Thank you. <coughs> and this time, you walk into a kind of detective's office. You look out of the window. Yes, this street is well known to you. Baker Street. You're probably in London. In fact, a lot of things here remind you of stories about the famous master detective Sherlock Holmes. The crackling fireplace, the wing chair. This room is really cosy and right away you feel at home. Though that heavy wallpaper may be your, too old-fashioned for your liking. If only you could do a little home improvement. Who knows, maybe a little bit of graffiti, yellow smiley face or something. You stop your daydreaming and continue looking around. Someone has carelessly left a violin on the floor. On the wall hangs a large pin board, littered with notes, photographs, and newspaper clippings. Many of them have fallen and are scattered on the ground. Obviously, you should be looking for the golden book, but your fingers itch to investigate this mystery. If there really is a detective at work here, then you have to see what he's working on. Who knows? Maybe you can help and leave him a tip. After all, you're always up for working on an exciting puzzle. You take a closer look at the pin board. Whoa, hello, that's a pin board. Please turn the page, then open door seven. You'll find seven cards. Seven cards for seven brothers. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, there's, uh, there are things in the room. On the floor. And then on the wall there. So A says, The clues have plenty of holes. Can you see a solution? B. Am I going round in circles? A clockwise look from 12 might help connect a clue. Are you leaning toward a solution? And then number C says, What is so special about the man in the hat, the woman, the report on Jack, the other guy, the door, and the Kensington Road, and the crime scene? I urgently need to make a connection between all of these. Where is my red thread? Okay. All right. Well, I need to cut these out. I need to cut all of these out. And I've got a pin board. And all of these have pins. So, let's do this. Okay. It'd be nice if we actually had some pins, but we were not given any this year. Maybe there were complaints from parents. Oh, the pin was very sharp. Okay. Well, uh, this looks like it goes there. Like that. Very good. Right. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll because I may need to check these clues. So I'll make some space on the side of the desk. Like that. Oops, sorry. My laptop over. So I can actually see my the thing there. And then we'll move this in the middle there. Okay, uh, you can go there.
Okay, good, 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 good. This one's red and black. Puts it there. This one seems a very meaty puzzle compared with yesterday. Uh, that one looks like it goes in there. Okay, let's move this over. Good. to do things further over on the camera. Make things a little more interesting for all of you watching at home. So what do we think is going on here? It seems like this this mystery village has all these portals to a lot of sort of Christmas mainstays. You know, we had day one that was uh, oh that was just that was just a house a hut. Day two was a Christmas carol. The three was, uh, oh, that was the hotel room with Mariah Carey. And then day four was uh, Nakatomi Plaza from uh, Die Hard. Day five was, I don't know, some kind of ballroom, I guess. The Mirror Ballroom. I don't know if that's a reference to anything. It might be. Might not be. Um... Day six, we had uh, Wham last Christmas, Whamageddon. So, uh, Here we go. Go there. Good. Okay. All right. And that's what we've got. Let's have a look at our clues again. It says A. The clues have plenty of holes. Can you see a solution? I can. I can see a solution. It's a two. Do you see that? There's a two in between the uh, the thing there. That's that's a neat little clue. I like that one. Makes it nice and physical. So 
we'll write down and we'll say two. There we go, write down two. Next, am I going round in circles? A clockwise look from 12 might help to connect a clue. Are you leaning toward a solution? Clockwise look from 12. Clockwise look from 12. Are you leaning toward a solution? Because we've had problems before where you've had to like look in the room at an angle or something. Leaning toward a solution. Clockwise. A clockwise look from 12. That says 10. So would it be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But 10 can't be an answer. Hmm. Are you, am I going around in circles? Might help connect a clue. A cl Leaning toward a solution. I don't know. Let's have a look at the next one. What's so special about the man in the hat? All right. The woman. The report on Jack. The other guy. The door to Kensington Road. And the crime scene. Well, that's five. Okay, so it's two something five. Two what five? Right. Oh, the, uh, the clue is dot, 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 dot. That's five. Um, are you leaning toward a solution? Are you? Oh, hello, 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 hello. Are you leaning, leaning toward a solution? There are letters. Do you notice how the word Kensington is in italics? And then this N, that's in italics. This E, hold on, hold on, come on, come on. There's an E in museum. Come on, there it is. No, had it. No, and it's gone. But the E in museum, hold on, there it is. The E in museum is in italics. And then if we look down here, the I in Lady Hampshire is in italics, which would be N-I-N-E, which would be nine, two, nine, five. Oh, that's a good puzzle. That's a clever puzzle. Clever, clever puzzle. All right, so let's, uh, let's get out this one. And we'll go two, nine, five. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So this one says uh, moon square L. Moon square L. Let's have a look here. So we start over here. Hold on. We start over here. Number seven. All right. Number seven. And it tells us to go up and to the left. So we come up to here. And then it tells us to go... Uh, I'm lost here. There. Moon square L. Yeah, that's right. So I have to do it backwards. So it goes up. Then it goes across. Then it goes up. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, that's a that's a nice meaty puzzle. I like that. That was good. Uh, yeah. Moon square L. Eight. Eight, eight. And tomorrow I've been spoiled. Because remember, remember how uh, we we had a QR code, and I 
I don't have it in front of me. It's probably fallen under here or it's on the floor. But remember how we had a QR code and it said, uh, warning for day eight. So tomorrow, I don't know what it is, but we're going to have a puzzle tomorrow that's going to involve the back somehow. And I don't know what it's going to be because it's, I had a look and it doesn't look that different from what we actually have. So what that could possibly be, I don't know. But there is something that's different and it's going to be fascinating to find out what it is because they had to uh, bring out an errata for this back. I'm so excited. Anyway, that will do us for our advent calendar 